Hello everyone, it's Wilson here. Today let's talk about finding this double integral by first reversing the order integration. The reason for why we need to reverse the order integration is really because when we first start integrating with respect to y, this function e to the y squared does not have elementary integer derivative. So um, we want to try to integrate with respect to x first and see if we can get a new function that has an elementary integer derivative so that we can integrate. But of course, uh, there is no guarantee that those will always work, but we are going to just try it and, and see what's going on. Okay, so now, uh, first, we need the region of integration. But before that, it will be a good idea to always start this problem by simply just rewriting the limits. And then you may say, how do we write it? It's actually simple. So we can just write x equals 0 and x equals 1 because those are the limits for the x. And then for the inner integral, we have the limits for the y. So we can write y equals 5x and y equals 5. Okay, so that will make it easier for us to draw the region. And so right now what happens is that we are going to get y equals 5x right here. So we can draw this line. How do we draw this? This line has, uh, the slope has what, 5, right? The slope is 5. And this line goes through the origin. So we can simply just start from the origin and then go up to 5, as you can see. And then y equals 5 is the horizontal line. So we are going to just get this horizontal line right here. And then we have what? x going from 0 to 1. So x going from 0 to, well, this point is having an x value of 1. So we are going to get this triangular region here. So this is the region of integration for this problem. Okay. Now what happens is that we it will be a good idea to just label all three sides for this triangle here. So this side right here, it's going to be what y equals 5x. It's given by this line segment here, but then of course we can also uh, write it in a different form by solving for x. So we can write x equals 1 over 5 times y. Sometimes this can be convenient, so you may not have to do it, but sometimes it will be useful. What about this one? This is the horizontal line, so it's going to be y equals 5. And then this one is the vertical line, so we get x equals 0. So we are actually ready because we label all three sides for the region of integration. And so the next step is that we are going to start by setting up the integral. Okay, and then the integrand doesn't change. And then here we are going to write dx and then dy. So we are switching the order integration. So we are going to integrate with respect to x first. So that means we are going to write the limits for the x first. And then you may say, how do we write it? Well, first we can just write x equals and then x equals here. And then we need to fill in the answers in here. And to fill in the answer, we look at the region. If you just go from the, the left bound to the right bound, I mean the lower bound and the upper bound based on the arrows, then you can actually see what to put here and what to put here. And so what really happens is that this is the lower bound for the x, as you can see. So we are going to get zero here. Okay. And then what about the upper bound? The upper bound would be this one, right? But because we want x, uh, the limits for x. So we cannot really use y equals 5x. We are using x equals 1 over 5 times the y. So we are going to be using this one. So we are going to put 1 over 5 times y here for the upper limit. And then the rest will be easy because the outer integrals will simply just have the, uh, the constant limits. And so what is the, uh, the lower bound for this region is 0 for the y. And then what is the upper bound for this region is 5 for the y, right? So you just get the 5 here. And so um, <clears throat> this integral, you can just write it as 0 to 5, and then 0 to 1 fifth y, and then e to the y square, and then dx dy. So we are now actually ready to do the integration with respect to x. Okay, so what do we do? We are going to just integrate with respect to x, but because there is no x here, this whole thing is being treated as a constant, so we are just going to get just x, right? So we are going to get just dx, and then e to the y square, and then the limits 
Okay, so the limit would be zero and then one over phi y. And then uh, the dx and then also the inner integral are gone, right? Because we already did the integration. So we now only have the dy here. And the next step is what? The next step is that we are going to plug the limits, both limits in here, and then we are to subtract them, right? So we are going to um, just plug this in here and then also plug that in here. And then we're gonna subtract, but of course we're gonna substitute the uh, the upper limit first. So we are going to get what the integral of uh, putting the one fifth y put it in here. So we are going to get one over five y, and then e to the y square, and then minus, and then we plug in the zero, right? So we are going to just plug in the zero. And then we have e to the y square, and then dy. And now, as you can see here, uh, zero times anything is zero, so we don't need to worry about that. And so now we only have this as the integrand. <coughs> and then you may say, what should we do now? The next step is that we are going to, um, well, we can simplify this. So we can pull out the one over five so in the front. And then we have the integral from zero to five, and then y times e to the y square, and then dy. And then we can start making a u sub here. So we can do a u substitution. So we can let u be y square, okay? And then so du is equal to two y and then dy. And so um, there was only a y here, so we can get the 2 on the other side. So we have 1 over 2 and then du and then equals y times dy. And so as you can see that there was a y here, there was a dy here, that can be replaced by 1 half du. Okay, but there is also one thing that we got to change is the, um, which are the limits, right? So you can see that the, the 0 and 5 are actually for the y, not for the u. So we can actually just do that calculation here. Um, what really happens is that when y is equal to zero, what happens to the u? The u is going to be what? When you're plugging zero here, u is also zero. And then when y is equal to five, then what happens to u? u is going to be, if you put the five in here, five squared will give you 25, right? So you get u to be 25. So what happens right now is that we get a new integral Integral, okay, so from 0 to 25. And then e to the, well, the y squared got replaced by the u, right? So we get e to the um, u. And then y dy will get replaced by 1 half du. And so we can actually multiply the one fifth and the one half together. So we get one over 10 and then the integral up from zero to 25 and then e to the u du. Can we integrate this e to the u? Well, yes, we can, right? So we will just get e to the u and then evaluate it from zero to 25. And then of course this will be simple. So we just plug in, um, the 25 in there and then also plug in the zero in there so 1 over 10 and then e to the zero and so finally we get the answer 1 over 10 e to the 25 and then minus well e to the zero is 1 right so you just get 1 over 10 here so that is the final answer so as you can see in this problem by reversing the order integration we were actually able to uh, compute this integral. But before, as you can see that we have e to the y square, and if we have to integrate with respect to y, then um, then we need to uh, use other methods instead of the usual integration techniques that we know to, to evaluate. Okay, so that's it for this problem. This is the final answer, as you can see. Um, it doesn't look too simple, but then it's, it's good enough, right? So we don't have to simplify it more unless you want to just use a calculator to do more calculation. Okay, so uh, I will do more examples like this next time. So please share my video and then also subscribe to this channel. I will see you next time.